Welcome to Algeria. Algeria is a country located in North Africa and is the largest in the continent. With a population of over 45 million people as of 2023, Algeria is known for its rich and diverse culture, history and traditions. The country has a complex and fascinating history that dates back to ancient times and has been shaped by various civilizations, including the Berbers, Romans, Arabs and French. Today, Algeria is a modern nation with a multi-party political system, a well-developed energy sector, and a diverse population that includes various ethnic groups and languages. The country is home to stunning natural landscapes, historical and cultural sites, and a unique cuisine that reflects its rich cultural heritage. This documentary is going to be a deep dive into the life of the people who call Algeria home, their economy, history, religion, governance, best places and time to visit, dangers of visiting and a whole lot more. This is Algeria in 10 minutes. Algeria's history is a narrative of ancient civilizations, colonial struggles, and a triumphant fight for independence. The region has been inhabited since prehistoric times, with Berber cultures leaving their mark. In the medieval period, Arab and Islamic influences took root. However, it was the Ottoman Empire that established control in the 16th century, paving the way for French colonization in the 19th century. Algeria gained independence from France in 1962 after a protracted and arduous war of liberation. The legacy of this history is visible in Algeria's cultural amalgamation and resilient spirit. Algeria is home to warm and hospitable people, known for their generosity and strong sense of community. The majority of the population is Arab Berber, while the minority groups include Tuareg, Mozabite and others. The official languages of Algeria are Arabic and Tamazite, but French is also widely spoken. Algiers, the capital city of Algeria, is a bustling city with a rich history and important landmarks. Oran the second largest is known for its music scene, beaches and historical sites. Other notable cities and towns in Algeria include Anaba, Constantine, Tlemcen, Bejaya, Satif and Blida. Islam is the predominant religion in Algeria, shaping various aspects of daily life and cultural practices. The majority of Algerians adhere to Sunni Islam. There is also a small Christian and Jewish minority. In terms of governance and politics, Algeria has a complex political landscape with various political parties and interest groups. The country operates as a presidential republic with the president serving as both the head of state and government. The political landscape has been marked by stability, though recent years have seen calls for political reform and increased civic participation. Algeria has a strong tradition of diplomacy and is actively involved in regional and international affairs. The justice system in Algeria is based on French civil law and Islamic law, the country has a police force, gendarmerie and military, which are responsible for maintaining security and order. Economically speaking, Algeria is rich in natural resources, including oil, gas and minerals. It is one of the world's leading producers of natural gas and has significant reserves of oil. Algeria's economy has faced challenges in recent years, due in part to the decline in oil prices and the country's heavy, dependent on the oil and gas sector, which accounts for over 90% of its exports. 
Learning from past mistakes not to depend on one source, the country has made efforts to diversify its economy in recent years, with a focus on manufacturing and agriculture. Algeria is also a member of the World Trade Organization and has trade agreements with several other countries. For those wishing to visit the country, transportation infrastructure in Algeria is generally good, with a network of highways, railways and airports. The country also has a well-developed telecommunications sector with high-speed internet and mobile phone coverage. Algerian cuisine also is a delectable fusion of Arab, Berber and Mediterranean influences. Staple ingredients include couscous, lamb and a variety of spices. Traditional dishes such as tagans, couscous with vegetables and brik, a savoury pastry, showcase the country's culinary richness. Algerian cuisine reflects the importance of communal meals and hospitality. Looking at health and welfare, the healthcare system in Algeria is divided between public and private sectors. The public sector provides free healthcare to citizens, while the private sector is more expensive. The country has made significant progress in improving its healthcare system in recent years with better access to medical facilities and improved training for healthcare professionals. The country has also implemented social welfare programs to address issues such as poverty and unemployment. Educational and healthcare services are provided to citizens, contributing to overall social well-being. Ongoing efforts seek to improve living standards and create a more inclusive and equitable society. Algeria is home to a diverse range of plant and animal species with a wide variety of landscapes and climates. The Sahara Desert covers much of the country, but there are also mountains, forests and coastal regions. Some of the plant species found in Algeria include acacia, palm and olive trees. As for animals, there are various types of desert wildlife, such as gazelles, antelopes and reptiles. The climate in Algeria varies depending on the region. In general, the country has a Mediterranean climate along the coast, while the interior is more arid. The best time to visit Algeria is between October and April, when temperatures are cooler and more pleasant. If you are one of those that is looking forward to visiting, know that Algeria is home to many historical and cultural sites, including the ancient city of Timgad, the Roman ruins of Jamila, and the Kasbah of Algiers. The country also has a number of beautiful natural attractions, such as the Tassili Najer National Park and the Sahara Desert. While planning, also take note of the fact that Algeria has faced security challenges in recent years, including terrorism and kidnapping. Visitors should exercise caution and be aware of their surroundings at all times. The education system in Algeria is based on the French system, with primary, secondary and tertiary levels of education. Higher education institutions contribute to the development of a skilled workforce. The government provides free education to citizens, but the quality of education can vary depending on the region. In conclusion, with its diverse population and numerous ethnic groups and languages spoken throughout the country, Algeria has a well-developed energy sector and is rich in natural resources. The country has faced significant political and security challenges in recent years, but it remains an important player in North Africa and the wider region.
That is Algeria in 10 minutes. These other videos on your screen will open you up to more informative and educational info about other countries. Check them out and also consider subscribing to the channel for more of such videos.